Well, hello. Y'all, let me share something that God has been revealing to me when it comes to the dynamics of people, especially in regards to one's purpose and also when it comes to choosing a mate or a partner to marry. Um, since I have come out with my book um, and I've been very passionate about my story and telling my story and motivating others that there is a story within them and that is waiting to be read or it's waiting to be heard. Um, God has actually had to tell me to pump the brakes when it comes to my level of enthusiasm, not necessarily my level of enthusiasm, but my level of assertiveness when it comes to how I approach other people. And what he basically said to me was, what I have put on your life and the call and the purpose and the drive that I put on your life, it's gonna be different for each person. And so all your job is to do is to motivate and tell your story. And those who have the same call or purpose as you will be the ones who will actually take the action to put into, put into motion what I put inside of them. But you cannot go around putting your discipline, your spiritual discipline, your spiritual enthusiasm and your um, level of uh, proactiveness, so to speak, on everyone else because all people are created different. If you go into the Bible, the Bible talks about that there are many body, um, there's one body, but many parts of that one body. And none are more important than the other, but they all have their function. And some parts are not as seen as much as other parts. And we are as one body called to appreciate each other's differences while at the same time recognize that with that we need one another and we need the other part as much as we think we need another part and so um because of that it's actually got me thinking when it comes to even dating and relationships and marriage and i feel like we tend to again want to push our methods and our viewpoints on other people on the type of person that they should look for and who they should be dating. Now, of course, when it comes to just the general aspect of dating, especially in as a Christian, you need to find someone who's in the Lord. Even Paul says, you know, you need to marry a person who's in the Lord. So that's first and foremost. If that person is not in the Lord and you are in the Lord, then you are already out of order. But Outside of that, I feel like the Lord has been showing me, don't make it so complicated. And not even that, but don't push what I've deposited in you onto someone else because you may cause them a level of anxiety, a level of confusion, and a level of unease when it comes to who they should date. If that person is in the Lord, allow them the space to be able to date or be interested in and who they feel led to be interested in. And the reason why is because it goes back to our purpose. So God, in order to accomplish his will on earth, he has put and deposited his purpose, the purpose that he has for us in each and every one of us. And all of us have different calls, different purposes. And so what he's showing me is you want to connect with someone who has a similar or like-minded purpose as you because this is not just a marriage but it's also a partnership and in that partnership you two are collaborators not conspirators against one another and so because you have a certain let's say he was speaking to me he said because you have a certain discipline on your life that I've called you to. That may mean that your walk may be a lot more strict than someone else's walk. And he said, it's not you're better than them or more holy than them. It means that your call requires you to walk in a certain level of 
um, strict, being strict. And he said, because of that, your desire for a mate is going to be obviously more strict and more specific than, let's say, another person. And I'm going to give you an example. Because of the call that's on my life, I have come to understand the man that I need in my life, that I am best suited to be a helpmate to, is someone who is also passionate about God and passionate about discipling other believers in the faith and helping them get to a level of maturity to where God wants them to be, at the level that God wants them to be at. And it may mean traveling internationally. It may mean um, speaking and having ministries that are very public. And I've come to accept that about my life and who I'm looking for or who I'm willing to, let me say, submit to um, because he's the one that's looking for me. Um, So because of that, I am going to be a little bit more, my, my specifications are going to be a little bit more specific and a little bit more um, strict when it comes to who I'm willing to submit to as a wife. Now, I have a friend who she enjoys going to church. She enjoys serving. She enjoys um, working in the kids ministry. She enjoys that. But her walk is a lot different than my walk. She does. She, she's not in her Bible 24 seven. She's not doing deep dives and deep studies in the word of God. She's not doing hour long prayers and um, some of the spiritual disciplines that we that Christians may do. And it doesn't make me more holy than her. It doesn't make her more holy than me. Um, but what it means is the man that she would best fit her has to be someone that's in alignment with her life and her, her desire, her lifestyle, and how passionate she is about the things of God. It doesn't mean that she doesn't love the Lord. It means that she, her passion, her husband's passion has to meet kind of her passion. Because let me tell you, I've been in a marriage before where I was like gung-ho for God. I'm passionate about the Lord. I'm like, let's do Bible studies. Um, you know, let's do a ministry, let's make a YouTube channel. And he wasn't about all that. He was like, it annoys me when you send me articles about Christ and um, personal development. It, you know, I don't, I don't want to sit here and pray all the time and do all these things. And y'all, when he told me that, it made me realize, oh, wow, we were not really right for each other. And so now when it comes to who I'm going to be, observant of when it comes to a spouse or a man that approaches me it has to align with me because I have to be I can't be a fire and he'd be a bucket of water because if that's going to happen what it's going to do is I can burn up some of his water but more than likely he's going to douse out my flame and because of the call on my life I can't have that happen and so um, I would encourage anyone who is single and they're thinking of dating I would encourage you first and foremost to get to know yourself in Christ. Um, Understand your identity in Christ. Understand who you are in him. And then understand your desires in Christ. Meaning what is God put, what is the desires that he's putting in your heart? The Bible says if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. And the reason he gives you the desires is because And we like to often think it means that he's going to give you the things that you want, which that may be so, but I believe it has to come in alignment with his will. So therefore, if you delight yourself in the Lord and you say, no, not my will, but your will be done, then God will start to give you those desires that he that he needs to give you in order to fulfill your purpose. And so if you are single, I would say establish yourself in Christ and establish what are the desires that God is giving you. And not only that, but what is the vision that he's calling you to and how passionate are you about fulfilling that? And then when you kind of get to that place, you will be a lot more solidified within yourself to know now when it's time to date, I'm dating to find a partner who is like minded, who is of one spirit. Because you all let me tell you, the word says unless the two agree, they cannot walk together. And unfortunately, that's what happened with my last marriage. 
where I was going and what I was pushing towards, my husband was not pushing towards the same thing. And therefore, I kind of went to the right and he went to the left. And you don't want that. That's not what you want. You guys, as I said before, want to be collaborators, not conspirators against one, one another. So I wanted to share that with you because, you know, we want to be, we want our marriages to be successful. We want to be happy and we want to be experience the joy that God has promised in marriage. But it does mean that we have to have a better understanding of who we are in him what our desires are in him and what he's called us to. And that will be the guide that you need in order when it's time to date and to find a partner to come alongside you. So be blessed on today. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.